Envy. So does everyone else, including me. In this video, I'm just going to tell you how you can spot envy, how you can utilize it for good, and then are you most likely to see envy, and then it's most likely to happen. So to start, you're most likely to experience envy from those who are close to you and people in the same industry as you. For example, if you're a doctor, you are more likely to become envious of people in your industry. You're not going to get envious of people doing well as like a plumber, like electrician. If you're a book writer, you will become envious of people with a lot of success. For book writers as well, you don't care about the doctor, for example. And you most likely to experience it amongst your friends. And one of the ways you can spot envy signs is through microaggressions. I think it's a correct, correct terminology. Micro body language. So it's like the split second micro expressions. And the way you can spot it is, let's say you tell your friends good news. Let's say you made, I don't know, a million dollars. Maybe you solved the case if you are, I don't know, a detective. And then in that split second, you'll notice they frowned, like they didn't seem happy. And you have to really look out for it because most people, they're so focused on their phone, they don't really pay attention to people and their body language. And the same goes if you tell your friends or colleagues, whatever, when something bad happens to you, you'll notice there's like a slight twinge of happiness for the micro-expressions. And I'll tell you a story which Robert Greene writes in one of his books. I'll try to articulate it as best as I can. He relates a story about a couple who befriends a different couple. And one of the women was envious. And what I mean by that, one of the women was basically wealthy they had a lot of success.